everybody. It is I, Osiris, with 15 Minutes to Show, again in your face. Today, live, we know we like to do it live. We are in beautiful Beverly Hills, California, for those of you out there that may be from another country or another state and have not had the opportunity to enjoy our pleasantries here. We are in the lovely restaurant of Call Tangine here at, I believe it's 134 Robertson Boulevard in Beverly Hills, and it is just gorgeous today. In a moment, we'll be talking to our guest, Mrs. China of 2023, representing China for the coveted Mrs. Asia USA for 2023. Rachel Song, we'll be talking to her a moment about her journey and how she got from where she came from, Toronto, Canada, via China and into the U.S. So we'll be right back in a minute. See you then. Bye. And you know, before we get into talking to our guest today, Miss Mrs. China, 2023, representing Asia of 2023, USA, Mrs. Rachel Song. We will talk to her momentarily. Before we go, you know, I love to talk about what I drink. And Asarasi water, you know, we got to say a little bit about it out there. Asarasi, Vermont, Adam Lazar, founder, roaming the countryside, saw some farmers doing his thing. He went over there, ran over there, said, beep, beep, look, can we talk about what we can do to sustain this water? And thus you have the beautiful, lovely Asarasi water. If you want to check it out, go on Asarasi, A-S-A-R-A-S-I.com, and see you soon with our guest, Rachel Song. Hey everybody, we are back live in studio with 15 minutes to show and our lovely Mrs. China representing the country of uh, China for the coveted title of Mrs. Asia USA 2023, Miss Rachel Song. Hey Rachel. Hi. How hey. are you? I'm very good. Yourself? Good. I mean, we are having really beautiful weather, so it's a great day for you to be on the set with our show. So let's get right into the tit-tat here. Rachel, you are just gorgeous, and you're representing your beautiful country of China uh, for the coveted title of Mrs. China for the country of Asia for 2023, USA. And we want to know what made you come, what, what, what caused you to come to LA and start, you know, going to some of the events here, you came around a time when the Globes were going on and then you stayed in town and hung around for the Oscars. So what have you done and what has some of the things that you've encountered since you've been here in our beautiful city? Oh yes. Um, basically my whole life, uh, uh, was changed uh, after I came to LA. Um, actually, I came to LA in last November. That was my first time ever coming mm -hmm. to LA yeah. to just uh, attend the LA model showcase to get a modeling contract mm -hmm. in LA. Uh, then thanks to you, my dear friend Osiris, no, I'm so lucky that I met you, then you encouraged me to extend my stay in LA um, to stay here to attend the uh, Golden Globes festivities in LA. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, it was when I attended a pre-Golden Globes party in Sky Bar, I met the pageant scout of Miss and Mrs. Asia USA. Mm -hmm. he, I was courted to um, uh, to compete for Mrs. Asia USA representing Asia, uh, representing China. Yes, right. Uh, yeah. So the next thing I know that uh, I was uh, selected by the pageant to become Mrs. China of Mrs. Asia USA. Mm -hmm. uh, that my whole life was changed. Uh, as Mrs. China of Mrs. Ada USA. Now, I, yes. you went from, I, I think in your bio, which by the way is a great story, by the way. In your bio, you talk about how you got, you came from journalism and politics because you were actually looking for something to do, something way to get involved. 
and you, very smart, obviously, you got into journalism politics, which then led you back into being spotted by people by being in these various situations. One of the people that spotted you were, I think, were the uh, people that run the Bounty Talent Agency out of uh, Canada, I believe. They spotted you on a runway. You were doing some work there. Yeah, but actually my story is more movie-like uh, than what you said because... Uh -huh. uh, well, what was in the bio? What was in your bio? I'm sure you have more than that to tell. Yeah. So tell us some more about your story. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, before I was discovered by the uh, model scout in uh, uh, last summer, uh, I was working for a magazine. So I attended a fashion show as a audience member in uh, in July last year, mm -hmm. then I was scouted by this modeling agency. The wow. next thing I know, I became runway model just in three <laughs> weeks. Yeah, last year. And in the in the in your story, they tell the story that someone somewhere somehow had given you the misinformation that only young girls walk the runway and only young women do the, these things. And you, not of course being a mature person, but not really being mature. I mean, in in Hollywood, uh, uh, people may call somebody 30 years old or 25 years old, old, but very young. And so you were brave enough to get on a runway with so-called teenagers, you know, and put yourself out there and win, you know, and put yourself out. And how did that feel to you to be able to know that it doesn't matter about your age and it shouldn't matter about any of those things that when you got it, and you're hot, you got it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. So how does that feel, yeah. how did that feel? Yeah, but actually, uh, when I uh, uh, got the, all these rare opportunities in the beauty and entertainment industry, no matter when I was offered the modern contract mm -hmm. uh, just last summer, uh, or uh, then in January this year, mm -hmm. I was offered to run for Mrs. Asia USA, That's representing right. China, um, when I got these opportunities, I just felt I was given a lifetime opportunity. Uh, now, uh, that, that is because I have been in North America for 20 years. Uh -huh. I was so hard, tried so many different things. Mm -hmm. What I want is to just get a chance to show my full potential to the world. But uh, middle-aged women, don't get many chances. Mm, so when I got these opportunities, I felt like I was given the second chance in life mm -hmm. to relive my life in the best possible way. So I just run with it. And that's yeah. the way, and that is a perfect way to look at it. Now, just so people know, we're changing history, people, because Jamie Lee Curtis won an Oscar. She's well over 50. Um, uh, uh, Michelle Yeoh is well over 50. The coveted model for the cover of uh, Vogue magazine this month is an 106 year old Filipino woman. So anyone out there putting yourself under labels about ages, colors, none of that is happening in the magical world of the new day and time. We don't care. As long as you can function, do your job, do what you do, this woman is a perfect example of what can happen at no matter what stage in life you are. You can become whatever you want to be. So let's talk about the when you got here, you got a chance to go to the Globes. You got to be on the red carpet and mush and mingle with some of the stars. What was that like coming from uh, your Canadian and your Chinese background for you to actually be here live with those things that you've seen on TV? Uh, yes, uh, all of this uh, definitely uh, opened doors for me uh, because after I became Mrs. China or Mrs. Asia USA, uh, I was invited to Grammys and the Elton John's <laughs> Oscars Bash. Yeah, uh, how yeah. was that, Elton John's Bash? Was it fun? That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it, um, and so uh, through this, I also got to meet uh, you know, some big Hollywood stars, for example, <laughs> I met 
uh, the producer of the Oscar-nominated movie, uh, To Leslie. Her name is Cece Cleary, Hi, and, Cece. I, <laughs> and I also met the former Baywatch star, Pamela Hasselhoff. Uh, when we three women met, we just clicked right away, Aww. and we formed uh, an inseparable squad. Uh, they took me to the Mecca for stars, the <laughs> legendary um, San Sam Peace Hotel. <laughs> and there, I also met many stars and producers. Mm -hmm. And the many producers, they uh, they met me uh, when I uh, uh, you know, when I was attending events in LA. They all want to work with me. That is really great. Wow, that's sounds... Yeah. You know what, we uh, I mean, we would love to extend the show for longer, but you guys know we have other places to go, other people to meet, and things to do. So we're going to talk a little bit about what Rachel is doing for the future. Uh, we're going to try to coerce her to stay here in L.A. and become one of us and not just a part of them. And so we want to hear what you're doing now, how people can find out more about you, your IG tag, your Facebook page, your Twitter page, whatever you have online, your social media, that we can stay in touch. And then talk about a little bit about where we're going to be able to watch uh, the event when you when the actual um, when their actual crown uh, the the winner for the uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. China Mrs. Asia USA. We are going to find out from Ms. Rachel's song um, when the event for the actual event for her being represented and doing the live event in November 2023. Before we leave, you know, we love to do a little longer. We always love to talk to our guests. So, and she's so much fun and look how gorgeous she is. No wonder she was selected. But before we go, I have a little bit of fun for those of you out there that likes to look at little things like this. We have on set, Rachel brought her crown and her sash for her uh, being selected as Mrs. China representative for Mrs. Asia uh, USA 2023. So can you show us that? And she has the ring. Look at the ring. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at that. Can you show us the crown and your yeah. sash really quick? The crown. Look at that. I'm next to a real crown. That. Here, let's take that. Oh, wow. Now, when you put this on, do they drape it over you? Does somebody drape it over you, or do you wear it on to the, to the set? When, they, when they're doing the show, did someone come and drape it over you, or were you wearing it? No, already? actually, I'm Mrs. China, uh -huh. or Mrs. Asia USA already. Uh -huh. uh, I'm competing in November mm -hmm. to become Mrs. Asia USA. Mm -hmm. So all the audience members, please wish me the best of luck. Vote please. for her! <laughs> But when you go when you go out there, they're gonna put another one of these on you, another sash for um, that competition. Or uh, the winner will okay. become Mrs. Asia USA. Uh -huh. And yeah. will so they change? This China. will change. To, that will change to Mrs. Asia. Just Asia USA. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. Will it be the same so. colors and everything? Oh, they put red, uh, I, I guess. Maybe. It's beautiful because China. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? So anyway, so can you tell everyone before we go yes. how we can find yes. out more about you? What you're doing, your IG tag, your Facebook page, your Twitter, your Snapchat, anywhere and everywhere we can find you on social media. Go uh, for it. Yes, yes. Uh, please follow me on my Instagram. That is fashion underscore underscore politics because actually my background is politics. So I am a former Canadian political staffer now a beauty queen and a model. And actually now I'm also uh, an aspiring Hollywood actress because when I uh, am in LA, I also snatched a contract from a uh, Hollywood um, firm, management firm, Firestone Talent Management. Yeah, so... Firestone yeah. Talent Management. Yeah, we are Hollywood. giving you some kudos. Hollywood. Yes. Snatch this beautiful girl right here. So, shout out. So, if you want to get in touch with Miss Rachel, Miss Rachel's song, and follow her wonderful journey to becoming Mrs. Asia USA 2023, go for it and look, at, look for her on IG. Look for her on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. 
Go for it. And don't forget about me, Osiris, on 15 Minutes to Show YouTube channel, my blog, Unk Entertainment. That's the word entertainment and the word one.net. And of course, on my site, Express in abstract dot net. We will see you soon. And for now, bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.